I have been so hesitant to post about this uh, for two reasons. Number one, I don't like negativity and I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. Uh, number two, I didn't want to believe it. But after doing so much research and uh, getting a lot of messages, I'm going to just deliver the unvarnished truth to you guys. I'm just going to lay it out straight. We're in a dating crisis. Not basically we are. That's what's happening. So let me look at my research here because I don't want to mess it up. So men looking for casual dates and our relationships is down 50%, five zero since 2019, not since 1970, since 2019, right before the pandemic, down 50%. They're not fucking looking, which means if you're a woman looking, they don't fucking give a shit. So as this trend continues by 2040, 45% of women, 40 5% of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single and childless based on this trend. Let that sink in for a moment. I'm going to talk a lot more about this. So if you're interested in this topic, hit the follow button because I've got a lot more of information, a lot more to share with you guys. What's behind the rise of men going their own way, also known as men going their own way? How did it come to be? Let's discuss this. MegTow is an online community of men who have made the conscious decision to live their lives free from both romantic and legal relationships with women. A guy who chooses his own path prioritizes self-ownership and feels that only he has the authority to determine what his life's objectives should be. He feels that both society and societal expectations of women are antagonistic against him. Thus, he will not give in to them. Some MegTow members commit to doing good deeds, cutting off the supply of male material, and spreading awareness about the millions of girls who take advantage of men and disobey our natural duty. The media has tended to avoid MegTow by mocking it and the men who go their own way. Others just brush it off as a cult. Whatever it may be, trends show a growing movement that cannot be easily dismissed because as a few irate misogynists playing video games and angry MegTows would tell you, it is more of a philosophy than a movement punctuated with a severe serving of zero beeps provided. The age of marriage is also rising. Divorce law is a topic that is getting more attention than ever. Men are waking up, they are becoming aware of the trap they are in. Finally, I'd want to point out how absurdly ridiculous everything is. Women have compromised their own power by passing discriminatory laws and elevating themselves to the position of becoming the dominant gender in the workplace and media. They have succeeded in doing the opposite. They've got men laboring up, presumably wasting their lives doing nothing. There have been cases of women robbing, cheating, and insulting men. The greatest men's rights movement in history was sparked when these guys discovered the red pill. In a way, women have brought their own downfall. They took a perfect ecosystem and ruined it. The men have now learned their lessons and quit the entire game. As always guys remember to stay MegTow and don't put women on the pedestal, they simply are not worth it. In a manner, women are to blame for their own impending demise. Men have since learned their lesson and stopped playing the game but males should always remember to keep their calm and not place women above themselves because they are simply not worth it. All in all, the rise of me going their own way can be attributed to the rise of degeneracy by modern women in the Western world. With more women now having a mindset of entitlement that enables them to waste away their lives trying to live according to feminism, more and more men have realized they're never going to be with women they can actually find peace with. And that's something that has made MegTow what it is today a global movement. Here's the reality. The red pill has exposed human nature for all to see. The unfavorable danger to benefit ratio while dealing with women has been realized by men from all walks of life. Overall, it is also despised by the media. However, if you discuss the red pill with anyone, they will begin to concur with you. Many people have tried to refute red pill beliefs, yet they always seem to contradict themselves. Even well-known influential men are becoming aware of the risky game they are playing when it comes to being in relationships with women. Witnessing what is happening these days is mind-blowing. There was a period when wealthy men were above reproach. People who have long enjoyed popularity and influence are now losing their jobs because of a woman's words. Even wealthy and powerful men are adopting red pill ideologies when they realize they are no longer safe. Many internet gurus and celebrities like Andrew Tate are taking over. These individuals are prohibited because they popularize the red pill, which is detrimental to the media. We have reached a stage in societal development when women dominate men, 
Even if you spent years accumulating wealth and connections, all it takes is a woman's word to bring you down. If we accept the red pill as the verdict, many men developed it as their final theory on human behavior. How long do you think it will take for males to fully understand how women behave? Men from all around the world will eventually see women for who they truly are. You realize this day isn't that far off when you see men like Andrew Tate gaining so much attention and likes from all over the world. Knowing that also helps to explain why so many high-value guys are choosing to stay away from the workforce. They simply understood their mistake. They have discovered that the dynamics of wealth and power are not the same for men and women. Scandals and rape allegations have the power to ruin their entire lives. There is only one vital component left. The biological instincts of men still serve as their guide. The MGTOW movement has already brought about changes. We have a lot of high-value, seasoned men who have given up on women in MGTOW. Most people are content to have entirely womanless lives. For them, the value a woman can offer transcends her biological worth. They don't even consider having affairs with women. A woman who is their partner on an equal mental footing is much more significant to them. These guys desire a contented household with a typical mature wife. But it seems impossible today. They have therefore concluded that this has nothing to do with women. When each of us comes to this understanding, when we are able to see past our natural tendencies and see what is genuinely occurring to us outside of ourselves, I believe that will be the most transformative moment for all men. The influence that women have over us won't go till then. For men, a woman's mental capacity is more valuable than everything else she can offer. Women's lack of negotiating power is the real source of the current imbalance in the dating market. They are those at the top who state their standards and values. Men compete for them, and those who successfully leave the others behind. The marketplace has been operating in this manner for the past 20 years. Imagine a world where men finally woke up. Imagine a man telling a woman every time she exploits her body to gain favors or assert authority, I'm expected to do all this for three minutes of meaningless pleasure in bed with you. You have to be crazy, I guess. For me, this is the future. If I take a more optimistic view of things, I envision a massive exodus of males from the workforce, with high-value guys like actors and millionaires suffering the largest loss. They've previously experienced the risk versus reward of sleeping with women. Once these high-profile people depart, women will be forced to accept their roles. Women will be chasing after males who have lost interest in them. And if there is one thing we are certain of, it is that women can never acquire true power, such as riches and influence. Most billionaire women were either born into it or became wealthy through a divorce. In contrast, the majority of men who are billionaires and millionaires are self-made. Millionaires, you already know the answer to the question of divorce laws, therefore I won't even bother. The true gain in this situation is that the alpha males are also able to view these figures, which are growing more and more obvious every day. As the rest of us men, they now fall into the same group. Women are becoming more selective every day. Some women wind up ruining the lives of the men that women do choose. Alphas determine the date's dynamics in the marketplace. I'm with these guys, not sure about you guys. I've made the decision to fully embrace Megtow. There isn't much to do here, actually. Give it a few years, and you'll see how desperate the women truly will become to settle down and start their families. I can understand if you're a young guy and your hormones are driving you crazy. If Megtow keeps growing at this rate, men will eventually wonder what the fuss was about with women. They will do sports, take care of their bodies, and work on projects in their free time. Today, a lot of guys are coming to terms with this reality and enjoying the inner peace that comes with it. Many highly respected guys have been engaging in it for a long time. Now observe how Leo DiCaprio simply switches girlfriends every five years and won't commit. Look at how the number of married guys is decreasing daily. It is better to be alone than to wish you were. That's something most men who have gone their own way wholeheartedly believe in. The rise of men going their own way is the rise of men who are standing up for themselves and for the thousands of others who face oppression at the hands of women. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion. Healthy debate.